Hello and a warm, very warm welcome to Megan and Harry News YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Alex. I hope you're all doing well this holiday season and taking it easy. As we all know, Meghan and Harry, and especially Meghan, are constantly targeted by the press, by the smear campaign. They try and pin anything and everything on them. These reporters are incredibly lazy and can never really think of anything new. And one of the things which comes up time and time again is that Meghan is a narcissist. It seems there are many pound shop pseudo-psychiatrists online who seem to make a living out of calling people narcissists, and it's just a lazy way of attacking someone when you have nothing to offer. As we see here, Meghan Markle gets dragged into an unfair conversation discussing reported narcissists like Donald Trump and Kanye West. Meghan Markle wound up on a year-end list for 2022 that she would probably prefer to be left off of, Politico's Narcissist's Takedown. She was thrown into the company of Donald Trump, Kanye West, Elon Musk and Elizabeth Holmes, and honestly, she doesn't deserve to be there. The writer of the opinion article, Joanna Wise, believes that this group of people has used attention as currency and ego as fuel and were rewarded for a time with what they craved. Now, Megan has been labelled a narcissist many, many times. This is of course ridiculous, especially comparing her to the likes of Elon Musk, Trump and Kanye West. These people are continuously on an everyday level going out to get attention. Usually when you see Elon Musk in the news, it's because of something he said, something he has bought, something he has worn, if you see Trump in the news, it would be the same. Something he has said, and an interview he has done, a new business he has invested in, a speech or a rally or an election he is standing in. But if you see Meghan in a news story, nine times out of ten it will be a fabricated story from an anonymous source. It will be a family member moaning about her. It will be a celebrity like Jeremy Clarkson or Piers Morgan attacking her. It will be some royal reporter talking about how they have an insider telling them how Prince William is enraged with Meghan because she only eats one slice of avocado toast as opposed to two. As you can see, the vast majority of media coverage of Meghan is coming from other people and it's nearly always negative. It's not actually coming from her. It's not usually about something they are doing. Yes, they have documentaries and podcasts, but the vast majority of press is created by the media itself to badmouth her. So she doesn't use attention. Negative attention is forced onto her, unlike the headlines of people like Trump or Elon Musk, whose actions and words that come from them create the headlines. With Meghan, it's the other way round. Nearly all of the press, it comes from the media itself to badmouth her. As it says here in the article, Wise does seem to think their addiction to fame is benign, but she still misses the mark when it comes to understanding that the Netflix deal, Harry's upcoming memoir and her Spotify contract were all lifelines to freedom. They have to share their story to be able to move forward and break the destructive cycle in the royal family. We aren't arguing with the rest of the writer's list, but Meghan and Harry should have been left out of this conversation. Let us know your thoughts in the comments.